Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about getting Windows 10 version 1909 using Microsoft Media Creation. So let's get started. So first things first, on my desktop, I'm going to right click on the start menu, uh, click on run, and within the run dialog box, I'm going to type in WinVER, and then click on OK. And I'm running everything within a Windows 10 Enterprise 2015 LTSB operating system. I don't really think the operating system version matters, but I want to show you guys that I'm running a pretty old operating system. So first thing that we need to do is open up Google and do a search of Microsoft Media Creation Tool. Make sure that the website is pointing to a Microsoft site. Very important. Click on it. It should take you to this website and locate download tools now. It's gonna start downloading the file. Once it's completed, I'm gonna click on the little arrow right there. And the reason why I'm clicking on the arrow is because I'm using Chrome. And I'm going to pick show in folder. So my downloads folder is going to open up and there goes the file. So we are going to right click on it and run it as an administrator. It's gonna start loading up. Uh, get a nice little Windows 10 setup window. It's gonna give you a license in terms that you need to accept. So just click on accept. It's gonna start getting a couple things ready. And it's gonna give you two options. You have by default upgrade this PC or create an installation media, which is what we want. So we are going to pick this option right here, the second option, and then click on next. You have three drop downs. Uh, pick your language. On the edition, you only have one edition, which is Windows 10. And for your architecture, you have 32-bit, 64-bit, or both. Uh, I only picked 64-bit and then clicked on Next. Now, you have uh, two ways to create your media. You either have a USB flash drive, right, or an ISO. Now, I want the ISO because I'm able to mount it within a virtual machine or import the ISO within MDT or SCCM in the future. So I'm going to pick ISO and then click on Next. Then from there, you're going to get a dialog box uh, because it wants you to drop it somewhere. So I'm going to drop it inside the desktop and you are able to change the file name. So my file name was Windows 1909, one word, right? And then click on save. And it's going to start, you know, downloading and creating that ISO file. Eventually, the progress number is going to go up. That's a good thing because it's working. Uh, for me, I saw that it got stuck between five to ten minutes. It took a while for it to move, but eventually it started moving. And then once it's completed, you're going to get burn the ISO file to a DVD. Uh, you are able to burn it directly to a DVD or if you have a utility that's capable of burning it into a flash drive, go for it. For me, I just clicked on finish and there goes my file right on the desktop. So this file, I would take it, import it into my MDT or my SCCM server and deploy it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave the links uh, at the bottom of maybe at the comment section so you guys could grab the media creation tool from Microsoft. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, share out the video. And i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.